Where, where's the rain? Well, right there. Right, how Pull are you up. spending International Women's Day? Um, oh, I'm taking my mum out. Really? Perfect. Yeah, that Perfect. would be really good. Yeah, I was going to offer you a hot date. Why? What are you doing? Nothing. I was just I'm at a loose end. I thought you and me could hit the hit the tiles. Come and... with me and my mum if you want to. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Celebrating two inspirational women. That sounds like <laughs> the perfect <laughs> way. Exactly. To spend the day. It's a yesterday, you ignited a firestorm oh, in the Conservative Party <laughs> leadership. We want to play again. What happened to create oh, the firestorm? Geez. Here we okay. go. <laughs> Lorraine Kelly's here. Do you remember Esther McVeigh mm -hmm. from her uh, GMTV oh, she... days? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> OK, coming up after half past. So you got on with Esther then, uh, Lorraine? <laughs> you on another date? I don't, rem I don't remember, love. I don't remember at all. <laughs> I really don't. It was an awful long time ago. Oh, I've looked skin girl. She <laughs> no, 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 six no. feet under. Well, we got the, the woman of the moment. The star uh, of the Tory leadership L contest. Lorraine Kelly, who is dominating the political <laughs> and cultural zeitgeist this week with her ongoing war with Esther McVeigh. Ah. Oh, behave. You're such, a, you're such an imp. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of describing him, Lorraine. You are. You're, you're just trying to get more imp. headlines. <laughs> Kelly slams <laughs> Morgan as imp. So surreal, so the <laughs> McVeigh <laughs> slayer <laughs> lashes out again. Yeah. Uh, you, you've really... You, I don't know what's happened to you this week. Have you been taking... Extra vitamins or something? What's been going on? You I turned know, just, on I'm, people. I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm just annoyed. I'm, I'm just annoyed about that there's something rotten at the heart of politics and it's annoyed me. And you don't want to get me angry, Piers Morgan. Oh, my God. I you find won't it like so, you in a man. I've, I've got to be honest, I find it very sexy looking Yeah, I just knew like, that was going to happen. I right, really okay, do. I'm never going to be angry ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yesterday was a very unusual day because Lorraine mm. took the day off, which is hysterical. Historically oh, unheard no. of, Lorraine. How are you feeling this morning? Do you know I'm a lot better, but I was. Ooh, your voice is really oh, was... oh, oh. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Be wow, quiet. love that voice. No, I was. I'm a lot better, but I was really. Oh, I was dying yesterday. It was hideous because you know I always come into my work. Exactly. I've got that sort of... I love the new. I love the new husky, Lorraine. The you, low, sound, you sound like Alex Salmon. The baritone. <laughs> The oh, don't, don't, it's too much. Lorraine's in. I'm hoping she's wearing her pajamas. <laughs> well, kind <Whoa>. of. <laughs> Tell you what, not far off. A little bit, there's a little bit of stripey in there. A little bit of tartan yes. nightwear. I like yeah. the way you ladies are all thinking today. Oh, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> right. I do, yeah. Lorraine. Ah, yes, hello there. Well, let me tell you. Hang on, hang on. What's the fast, Miss, Mrs Bond? He's got more impressions uh, for you. Holyrood, your parliament up there in Scotland, right? Yeah. The cafe has now abandoned oh. gingerbread men what? and replaced them with gingerbread persons <laughs> to avoid upsetting people. Oh, that's a shame, because gingerbread men, you get more gingerbread, don't you? Do you? If you get my drift. Are you suggesting that there are extra parts? Yes. Well, depends. <laughs> Not if it was a gingerbread man of you, Where obviously. Where are you buying your gingerbread <laughs> men? Wow. Wow, Lorraine <laughs> Kelly and our little spicy gingerbread men. Behave yourself, behave yourself. No, that, that's daft, but anyway, yes. what can you do? Daft. Well, yeah. you, can, you can resist it. I urge everyone in Scotland <laughs> to resist it. Do not allow your okay. parliament in their coffee shop right. to abandon gingerbread men. It is ridiculous. Okay. I think there might be more important things, <laughs> but I'll, I'll send a memo. Thank you. I'll make sure that the a nation knows. A strongly worded email. <laughs> a strongly worded email, yes. a strongly worded Thank email. You. No. At the end of this programme, I'm literally going to march... <laughs> Out of here and straight <laughs> onto your sofa. Oh, good luck, I Lorraine. I give you a gigantic squeeze. Oh, no, help. <laughs> give you happy. the electric shock bracelet, Lorraine. But for me to, to do on Pierce, Just yeah. in yeah. case. Exactly right, exactly right. You can right. do whatever you want with me. <laughs> I'm your tool. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Julie noted. <laughs> My life on the show is one big love island. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> Lovely to see you back, Lorraine. Oh, Looks like you're better. holding it in there, too. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want him to turn his stomach anymore. No explosions live on air later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lorraine, good luck, good luck, and well done for making it. Poor Lorraine, there's Still nothing ahead. worse. God, I once had a good uh, a show with uh, acute gastro issues. It is a killer. So let's hope Lorraine gets <laughs> gets through today. You've just invited me onto your program tomorrow to discuss quotes <laughs> my beauty regime. No, no, no. You've invited yourself on tomorrow to talk about the fact that you look like a little boiled egg now and we're going to try to get <laughs> to the bottom of it. <laughs> you think I look like a boiled egg? Yeah, well, you haven't got any wrinkles anymore. They've disappeared. Where did they go? Ooh, um, big mystery. No, no, there's no mystery. <laughs> there's no mystery. This is how God intended my body to look. 
Right. There's no surgery, there's no mystery. I but, really do look as good as this. Right, we'll, we'll, fi we'll find out your beauty secrets tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait, it's going to be brilliant. I'm going to be talking to Mrs Piers Morgan. Celia Walden is with me. That should be good fun, shouldn't it, Piers? What? Yes. <laughs> yeah. it's you bring sneak your wife my wife in? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, yeah. You better... Fasten your seatbelt, <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Peters Morgan. Is she supposed to be back home preparing my breakfast? It's the only, oh, way, the... It's the only <laughs> way I get to see him in the morning. Oh. <laughs> Look, can you get home and do my breakfast, please? Oh, yeah, as if that happens. And the bins need putting out. As if, as if. You we'll can do you that when you get home, Piers yes. Morgan. I'm going to have to come oh. up there, aren't I? Oh, I, I, I love to see you. I'm not having this. I'm coming up. Oh, no, no, you're banned. You're not allowed. We'll see you at half eight, though. <laughs> <laughs> Work that one out. Uh, Lorraine, thanks very much indeed. Looking forward to that? seeing the missus? No, I'm not. I mean, looking forward to seeing my wife, obviously, <laughs> but not on national television. Do you think Revealing she's... all your secrets, spill some home truths. I think everyone just thinks how lucky she is. Or they have our never-ending sympathy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you not already had your eyebrows done? You've had everything done. Uh, no, but funny enough, here's what I can You're say. not supposed so to I, reveal so that, I, Lorraine. No, no, so when I appeared on Lorraine's show to discuss my beauty secrets the mm. other day, on air, Lorraine was very like, oh, you look fabulous and beautiful. <laughs> and, but what, yeah. what, but in Lorraine's voice. What I later was told by my wife, who could hear Lorraine talking to Dan Wooden oh. just before I went on air, was, <laughs> oh, he's had so much work done. <laughs> and Wooden went, and Wooden went, oh, I know he had. Oh, there's a pair of them, apparently, yeah. And then there's something on there, oh, tell me the secrets of your natural beauty regime. <laughs> so you were caught, Kelly. Caught, Bonnie. You caught were Bonnie. caught. You were caught telling the truth. Directly accusing Lorraine. me of having had plastic surgery. And what made me once again remind you, this is natural beauty. OK, so you haven't had plastic surgery. Have you had injections? No. Have you had uh, facials? No, I don't have facials. I don't even use moisturiser. God gave me this. Oh, dear. Look, I'm sorry <laughs> if it take offends it back? everybody. But this is what happens when God showers beautiful blessings on you. You get this. Really? Mm. Mm. And thank you so much for the <laughs> tribute this morning. New magazine. New magazine. There she is in her tiara. <laughs> and there's this extraordinary picture inside <laughs> of Lorraine blowing up a large piece of bubble Very gum, which that. raises all sorts of yeah. weird... Thought can we right just, can I draw? Only in your head. And then the headline above that says, Susanna Reid is a seat. I don't have the patience to work with Piers Morgan. Well, A, I wasn't aware you'd been invited. Uh, oh. But anyway, it the next thing I read... It would be a for you, But anyway, I then, read, I then read on, and things did get better. Yeah. She says, I think people are tired of snarkiness, says Lorraine. I believe they want a little bit of kindness. Maybe this sounds wishy-washy, but breakfast and daytime telly are kinder places than Stop elsewhere. At this point, says the interview, I yell out, Piers Morgan, kind. <laughs> Lorraine grins with mischief at the mention of the Marmite Good Morning Britain maverick. Susanna Reid is a saint, she says. She's brilliant at steering things back when oh. Piers has gone off on one. I couldn't do it. I don't have the patience, but together they're sparky and energising. <laughs> then she says, this is my favourite bit. Can I know, you... I know Piers will hate me for saying this, <laughs> which is why I'm good to see it anyway, obviously. But beneath it all, he has a very good heart. I've got a real soft spot for him. Yeah. Um, good heart, terrible oh, accent. I didn't Lorraine. understand any of that. <laughs> that was my, no idea what that was. I think it that was Swahili. Lorraine Kelly goes to Bangladesh accent. <laughs> uh, the, uh, you travelled all the way to India and then came all the way back. How, how real is your soft spot for me? Oh, you know it's real. You know it's real. It's a great big, huge mud. Bath yeah. in the back of my garden. Now we're talking. <laughs> this is also what... No, you, no you, you, know, you know that I like you. You're very... You, you know that deep down inside you're a softy. I, I, well, I, I would dispute that, but I do like the fact that you like me and I love the idea of a mud bath. <laughs> we can do that together. Oh, <laughs> now! Maybe. Oh, no! Finally! <laughs> It's oh, it's to good a to be a kinder place, not a messier, dirtier place, <laughs> Lorraine. It's good to oh, be back. I've just had a weird image in my mind. I'm sure you all have too. Someone else who's had the most fabulous <laughs> summer holiday. <laughs> Morning. Morning. No, it was great. Really, mm. really good. Really had a good time. Went to India. Oh, what a brilliant place. What so were much the highlights? Because the highlight for us, I think, was the bikini shot. Uh, but, <laughs> um, no, you're looking absolutely Susanna, fabulous. I did not... My jaws did not stop eating. I mean, they just... I, I wonder what you're about to say there. <laughs> 
Smiling. I thought you were going to say smiling. <laughs> nothing changes, nothing changes. No, and I think I, I, all the excess baggage that I brought back from holiday <laughs> has landed on my belly. Um, it's going to take a wee while to get rid of it, but I shall. I shall. And that's what holidays are for. It's holidays well, I've got to say, your, your excess baggage looks pretty good from here. God bless you. God bless you. If you're very good, I'll show you my white bits. <laughs> <laughs> But that would be scary. <laughs> well, that is a welcome back. <laughs> Talking of refreshing things, Lorraine. <laughs> that was seamless. <laughs> Are you feeling all refreshing today? I'm feeling very refreshed. Thank you very, very much. Somebody asked me if I had actually examined your white bits after the show yesterday, after you invited me to. I said I had and there weren't any. That's very true. Actually, that is very true. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get an all over tan, Lorraine? Just about. Oh, yes, brilliant. more or less. Which bits, really. which bits were left on? You didn't put that picture on Instagram, did you? <laughs> oh, Probably. Nobody, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> oh, I, me, me <laughs> thinks we do. I want to go to somebody who has had a bow and arrow fired at her by Gail Platt, who's now threatening to target me with a tomahawk. Uh, Lorraine Kelly, let's just show viewers what happened to you first with Gail Platt. <laughs> Ow! You daft wee woman! You could have killed me! <laughs> well, not content with that, I, I then discovered... Did it not on, hurt? On, well, hang on, we're going to come to it in a minute, but after that, I then received a clear death threat from Gail Platt. Let's watch this. Oh, that's a smashing rock. It really blew the cobwebs away. Hey, everybody's morning, Bean. Uh, quiet. Uh, I did have to stop Mum from throwing a tomahawk at Piers Morgan. Oh, what? Why? Because Mother is an internet sensation. Uh, really? No, not me. It was all about Lorraine. She made sure of that. Sitting there like I'd half killed her. I mean, she's milking it. She is. <laughs> Well, what it's an allegation. I mean, I mean, it seems like she's become a serial killer of TV presenters in ITV Daytime. I know, she's going for us all. Susanna, watch out. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. <laughs> Just be careful. Right, right, how's, you how's your leg swearing? after the uh, appalling incident? It's fine. Did you, did you see my acting? What was it like? Yeah, I've got to say, I didn't think the wooden tops were still working. <laughs> I think that's insulting to the wooden top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great fun though. It was Aww. really good fun, and they were so nice up there. They're so lovely. They really I are. I want to be. Great. I want to be uh, in the Rovers' return as a kind okay. of smoothie yes, mid fifties love, love interest. interest for Kim Marsh. I've already oh, said this. It hasn't okay. happened yet, but I'm available. I think a kind of, a kind of a you know, Britain's answer to Clooney. You're not going to be Gail Platt's love interest, no, are you? No, that's true. But is well, Kim Marsh not leaving? Know. She's. Huh? Le I think Kim Marsh is leaving. Yeah. So yeah. you could come in and switch. You know, like. An Take officer and a gentleman and... I think so, yeah, very much. I like the way you're thinking, the Richard Gere figure. Yeah.